Welcome inside Purcell Pavilion. Irish fans, Jack Nolan with a guy who was playing for the Irish. When I started here, we won't say how many years ago, but I'll boy, that was a long time. It was a long time ago. I mean, I think about how different things are, you know, 30 years. I, this is upcoming my 30th year for, uh, graduating from Notre Dame, so it's been a while. And this is my 31st year here, so the <laughs> the math adds up. I do like the look. Not everybody can pull that off, John. Yeah, well, I conceded a long time ago. I didn't want to just patch it together. I figured, why fight it? I'm, I'm going with it. You've accomplished so many things. Two-time academic All-American here, two-time All-American, three-time NBA champion. So with all you've accomplished, is it special for you to bring the Bulls back to play in the building you played in? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm always going to have a fond spot in my heart for Notre Dame. And, you know, the connection and the, and the uh, you know, how close we, we are, you know, to the, to the university, I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And, and from what we've been told, it's a sellout tonight. So, um, you know, and, and we've got a great rivalry with the Pacers. So, really, it makes sense. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's always special for me to come back. Although, you know, you get, get here and some of the guys with the team see some pictures of me around the, the building, and they aren't real flattering from 30 years ago. So I've taken a few shots here the last hour. Talk about uh, your Bulls team this year. What are your expectations? Well, we, we go into it obviously without uh, Derrick Rose and with the injury he, he had last year in the playoffs, and that's a setback. But um, the one thing that, that I, I do know about our team is that with Tom Thibodeau as our coach, we're going to compete and we're, we're going to be prepared. Uh, the thing that I guess my biggest concern is that, you know, without Derrick and some of the changes we made, you know, our ability to score is going to be an issue. Um, we know we're going to defend. Uh, that's That's been a staple with Tom's teams. but. Uh, scoring could be something that, that we struggle with at times. But it's a long year, 82 games. Hopefully we stay healthy. That's going to be a big issue with us, and, uh, and we'll see. But uh, we've had really good success the last two years, and we want Derek to come back healthy, and we're not going to rush that. And you know he's coming back, so it's hard to replace a player of that magnitude in the short term because you have to have room for him when he comes back. Absolutely. You know, we, we, in this offseason, we signed Kirk Heinrich, who we've had here before. Um, and we trust. Uh, you know, the issue with Kirk is we got to keep him healthy this year because we, you know we know what he's going to give us. And when we when we do get Derek back, we you know that, that's the thing we like what we potentially have. You know, with Heinrich here and and some of the other pieces. So, um, like I said, Jack, we're going to you know I, I know we'll compete and we'll play hard every night. Uh, but you know, obviously we got we've got some issues heading into the year, and we just have to battle through them. You are a fairly frequent visitor down here because a lot of quality college yep. teams come through here, and you like to keep an eye on your alma mater. You got to go to practice at the tail end today. What do you think of this year's Irish team? Well, first of all, I, I, I have a ton of respect for Mike Bray. I, I think that uh, he's one of the best coaches in the in the in all all the country. Um, I, I think that the one thing I'm always uh, not surprised about, but but always see with his teams that, that they they play with a confidence that sometimes you look at the the uh, maybe the, the physical talent, and you say, how do they do that? Well, from what little I saw today, I, I see a, a more more athletic team than, than he's had in the past, and he's got an, an older team that I think bodes well for college basketball. So I'm really optimistic. And and the, and the other side of it, I, I, I love the direction that the university has gone getting into the ACC. I think as, as we progress into this, uh, you know, it's going it's just a natural some of the rivalries we're going to have with duke and carolina it's it's so exciting and i'm happy mike's leading us in that direction before we let you go what is your best memory of playing in this building uh, my best memory it's an easy one i mean it, you know when i was being recruited by schools I, I i visited three places notre dame north carolina and duke back in 1978 before i came here in 79 when i came here notre dame was coming off final four appearance the, the year you know year before and you wanted to play in big games. Well, early in my freshman year, I was able to play in a big game against UCLA. And for some reason, Digger had me in at the end of the game. And I ended up getting fouled. I made four free throws down the stretch. You know, I, one of my friends always told me, if you'd have missed those, you never would have mounted to anything here. But I made them, and we ended up winning the game by three. So far and away in this building, uh, that's, that's the, the one game I'll never forget. He is now the executive vice president for basketball operations of the Chicago Bulls. He will always be a Notre Dame legend. John, thank you for the time. Appreciate it, Jack. With John Paxson, I'm Jack Nolan, UND.com. Oh!